the Torah says that before Mashiach will come, there's going to be a huge war in the world. It's called Gog and Magog. A very serious war. 250 years ago, the Vilna Gaon, the Vilna Gaon in Vilna, he told his students that the last war will end in a period of nine minutes. The entire world will be destroyed in nine minutes. Everybody laughed. Because in his generation, they just invented a gun. And how, how was the first gun? You have a powder. You got to put some powder inside. You move it and you shoot one bullet. Then you have to clean it. You put some powder, you shoot another bullet. In a generation like this, how exactly you destroy the world in nine minutes? Today, I don't have to explain you how you destroy the world in nine minutes, right? Five, six atomic missiles, bombs from one country to the other. Everything is collapsed. The book of Zachary 14. In the prophets, one of them, his name was Zechariah. He described the last war. The last war over there in Zechariah, there's no doubt that he's speaking about an atomic war. No doubt. Because he described over there that all the nations will go against Israel to attack Jerusalem, all of them. And they will make a revolution in Israel. A horrible thing will happen in the beginning of this war. Many, many people will get killed. The ladies will run all over. They're going to rape the ladies. Many people will run to the desert, try to hide everywhere they can. But from a moment that God interfered with this war, He's going to bring on them such a disaster that they're going to try to help one another, this going, the Gentiles. When they're going to grab one another, try to get them out, their hands will melt and their eyes will spill out of their holes. What, it, what does it tell you? How an eyes of a person spill like water? You understand? Plus it described that there will be a complete darkness. Now, it's true that there are many different prophecies. There are few possibilities. Which one of them God will choose as the end of this world, as the end of that, until Mashiach will come? We don't know. He never told us. We have few possibilities. Let me tell you the possibility. One possibility was that it's not going to be a war, no problem, nothing. The Jews, all of them, had a chance to make repentance. And God said, you all deserve the Mashiach to come. He comes, nobody suffers, no problem, finished. This time is over, 18 years ago. Now we enter to Acharit Ayamim. Acharit Ayamim in Hebrew means the ends of days. As I told you, the last quarter, from 24 quarters. Acharit Ayamim has to be through some kind of tragedy. What kind of tragedy? This is the way it's going to be. According to the Zohar, to the Kabbalah, 15 days before Mashiach come, there will be complete darkness in the world. Remember in Egypt there were days of darkness? It's going to happen again. Nobody will know if it's day or night. Complete darkness, 15 days. How is it going to be? Only God knows. He can do whatever He wants. It's no problem. 15 days of complete darkness. Why God needs complete darkness? In those 15 days, He cleaned the world from all the wicked people, Jews and non-Jews. All the non-righteous non non-Jews, the Gentiles, all be clean from the face of the earth. And among them, Jews that did not keep the laws of the Torah. They're all gonna clean from here. After 15 days, the sun will rise, Mashiach will come, and that's gonna be the salvation of the Jewish nation. For those who have doubts, I wanna remind you that it happened exactly the same in Egypt. How many Jews came out of Egypt? Only 20%. 80% of the Jews died with the Egyptians in the plague of the, of the darkness, in Hoshech. In the days of darkness, 80% of the Jews did not have the merit to leave Egypt. Only 20% came out. 20% were few million people. Multiplied by four, that's how many people died in Egypt. How many Jews? Millions. Either way, it's too much. 
12 million, it's 80% of the Jewish nation in Egypt. So it happened once in history. Only 20% Hamushim Yatsub Bnei Israel in Mitzrayim, one out of five. So now history may repeat itself. It says 15 days of darkness, and after that, he cleaned the wall from, he cleaned the wall from all the wicked people. Now you may ask me among the non-Jews, what's considered righteous or not? You'll be surprised. There are non-Jews that are very righteous. All they have to do is keep seven laws. And this is what the Prophet says. That's a different prophecy. We finish with the Zohar, with the Kabbalah. That's another possibility. God says, my anger will reach the record, the highest level. And in my strict word and fire and my anger, I promise that it's going to be a huge noise on the land of Israel. Rash Gadol al Admat Israel, probably it's earthquake. Noise on the ground. What does it mean? Probably earthquake. And this is what it described. And the ocean will rock. And the fish will go crazy. Nuts. There'll be panic. The fish. And even the birds in the sky. And all the animals on the mountain and in the valley and all the things that crawl on the floor, the snakes, the worms, and every person that's walking on the ground, everybody will be shocked from what's going to happen that day. And the mountains will collapse, and walls, and buildings, and houses will all fall down. What does it mean? That's we're speaking about Israel. And I'm going to make my final judgment to the people on the ground. With blood, rain of fire, rain of fire. Fire is falling from the sky on all the people, fire. And all the nations that came to attack Israel. And the bottom line, and the last things the Gemara say, ve'en lanu al mi lismoch, ela al avinu shebashamayim. Every Jew, before Mashiach come, will realize, maybe moments before, maybe months before, I don't know, that we have nobody to count on, not on our money, not on our father-in-law, not on the Americans, not on the Europeans, whatever you want to count on. You're not going to be able to count on them, Everybody will realize, if Hashem won't save me, I'm finished. And then when Mashiach comes.